Hey everybody, it's Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I will be making snickerdoodles with a caramel sauce. So what you'll need is flour. Now I always use my whole wheat pastry flour because I like to keep this clean eating as much as possible. But you can use an all-purpose flour, some salt, butter. Now again, I use the Earth Balance Vegan Buttery Sticks, but you can use an unsalted butter as well. Some vanilla extract, my organic sugar and egg. I also will be using cream of tartar and baking soda and a little bit of nutmeg. For the topping, I will also be using my homemade caramel sauce. This is a non-dairy sauce that is also clean eating. I do have the recipe for this at the link below. If you don't want to make this yourself, you could just go and purchase some caramel sauce or even use the Kraft caramels and just melt them and add a little bit of liquid to thin that out. And also some cinnamon sugar. In your mix master or whatever brand beater you have, cream together the but just the butter for about 30 seconds. Add in the sugar. the salt, the baking soda, the cream of tartar, and the nutmeg. Beat this until it's just very, very well combined. Add in the eggs and the vanilla and then continue to beat this. Beat in the flour next and just beat this until it's very well combined. You don't want to overbeat this or else the cookies do tend to dry out. Wrap your dough real well in plastic because we're going to refrigerate this for about an hour so it firms up a little bit and it'll be easier to make our cookies. After the dough has chilled, we're going to make about a little bit more than an inch in diameter balls. Could be like an inch to an inch and a half. Then roll them in the cinnamon sugar. And place them on a lined cookie sheet. Now I like to use the silicone lining. If you do not have silicone, you can use parchment paper. I'm going to slightly push down with my palm just to flatten them just a little bit. These are going to bake in a 375 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. They should be a light golden brown when they're done. I let these cookies cool down to mostly cool. Melted the caramel to thin it out. And just take with a spoon, just going to drizzle some on top. <laughs> 